So this game is rather old. Um, it is one of the first platforming PC games I ever played. And it is Commander Keen Invasion of the Vorticons. And uh, this is an old game. And believe it or not, this is one of the first games that ID was involved with. I'm not sure if Doom came before or after this. I'm not positive. But uh, this is a pretty epic game. Yeah, ID Software, there you go. Can you, believe, can you believe like this is what ID Software was at one point? Just small group of software office, or small group of software artists. And this is actually the shareware version of the game. I don't have the full game. Um, but yeah, I mean, can you, can you believe this shit, you know? Like, holy shit, this is insane. I gotta make sure here. I think my DOS box may not be doing the sound correctly. Oh, maybe it's just stupid, I don't know. Then. Anyways, so the story is, Billy Blaze, eight-year-old genius, working diligently in his backyard clubhouse, has created an interstellar starship from old soup cans, rubber cement and plastic tubing, Etc. Um, he turns into a fucking cool dude with his brother's football helmet. And blah, blah, blah. Anyways. So, <clears throat> basically, there's a long-ass fucking storyline. I'm not going to read through all this shit. But here's the thing. Apparently, characters from Doom, if I'm right on this, are actually related to Commander Keen. It's kind of a neat little thing there, but... Uh, okay, this sounds working. So, you start off in an overworld-type map thing. And uh, there's your ship, and you can press spacebar to see your stats, how many Keens you have, and stuff like that. And you go in here, and you go to the first level, and that sound, that boop, 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 is just a part of my like childhood, man. I, I remember doing that, or playing that, and like hearing that, and it was just like, holy shit. So you can press uh, control to jump. If you ever wonder where these little guys come from, you'll see them sometimes on people's user icons. This is where they're from, is this game. Now these guys are completely harmless. They're like pretty much the local aliens of the planet. They don't do any damage to you. You can jump on them, though, if you want to be an asshole and hurt them. I'm guessing these are like like suckers or something like that. You can see the ID icon upper left there. Back when like barely anybody knew about them. And um, go up here. You know, you don't really see that too much nowadays, you know. It's like you don't really see a company just make little games like this and then BAM! They hit like the big time randomly, you know. And apparently the language, the alien language here actually has a translation, but I'm not sure what it is. Those things will kill you. It is one hit kill for those fuckers. Now we don't have the, uh, do we have the gun yet? Or I believe it's control and alt to fire. Now that is a really awkward fucking control scheme, but that's how it was back in the day. So control and alt fires. If you control and alt fire one of these motherfuckers, they die. And this always kind of freaked, not really freaked me out, but kind of weirded me out as a kid. Like, what is that thing in the middle of them? Like, I always thought it was like their exposed heart or something like that, and I like blew a hole in them, and now they're like, they're obviously dead, but like their exposed heart is there. Like, I don't know what that is. Like, that always kind of freaked me out as a kid. I was just like, eh. And then, <clears throat> obviously that kills you, the spikes. And again, this is one of those things where like, you know, I'm sure to a lot of you people watching this and stuff like this now, you know, in today's era, this is like LOL, noob sauce, shitty sound, shitty graphics, all that stuff. But you have to remember, like, when this came out, this was like fucking amazing for a PC game. This was like, goddamn. This was basically like, this and Jazz Jackrabbit were basically like the Mario Brothers and like Sonic of PC platforming games. I mean, they really were. They pretty much, that was it. Those were the benchmarks right there. More accurately, this is probably like Mario and then Jazz Jackrabbit was more like Sonic. Both in personalities of characters and overall gameplay. So you can go into this little thing here, and you go up here, and there's a light shining down, but we don't really need to care about that. And here's this dude, you touch him and he says, it is too bad you cannot read the standard galactic alphabet. And then he says, fuck off. So this character, this, this series has a bit of like Calvin and Hobbesism, where it's like, like you're made to believe that this is all really happening, this character's like on Mars and stuff like that, but then there's also kind of the sense that it's all gets in the character's head. So you don't really know which it is, as far as I know. It's never really confirmed. So you get pizza. This is like the first level that actually like makes you do a little bit of like platforming, you know? Kind of run. Now you need a yellow key card to get in there. The Doom influence is already there. Again, I can't remember if Doom came out first or this, but the influence is already there. Pepsi cans back when we didn't really have to worry about copyright in video games because nobody really gave a fuck back in the uh, 80s and early 90s. <clears throat> I don't think they make that. Uh, 
Now, is there... Okay, yeah, there's a, there's an actual score. So you get an extra life at 20,000 points. And now these fuckers, you can't shoot with your gun, but they are auto-kill, I believe, I think. No, they're not auto-kill, they just push you off the edge, like fucking assholes. I don't think you can hurt them. No, yeah, they're invincible. So they're basically like somewhat harmless versions of those guys from uh, Mega Man. So I got the yellow key card. So I believe we need to go back down here. And again, these are like super pro sounds for like back in the day. Like this was like legit. This was like, what amazing sound coming from my computer speakers. Holy shit. This guy's like the big mama jama here. You need to get this shit and get the fuck out because he can jump and he will jump up and blast your ass. And he follows you. I'm actually going to try. How many shots my ray gun I got left? Two? Okay, I can't kill him with two shots. <clears throat> I think it takes like four. So now we need to go over here and do the red area. But this actually spawned an entire franchise. I think there's like six or so games in this series. And uh, each one gets progressively better like graphics wise, especially once you get to like six. You can see the graphical difference between it and this is pretty uh, big. It's pretty fucking huge. <laughs> there's even a few Game Boy games too, I think. There's actually an entire like uh, another set of episodes that were supposed to come out, but they never got the funding for it. And I guess it's still kind of in limbo, like it could come out, but they kind of all want like the original team and everything, and they don't think it's going to happen, so... <clears throat> Unfortunately not. Let's see if I can like kind of... No, I guess I can't like jump in an arc around that. Yeah, I remember playing this so much as a kid. I had like all these like demo discs and shit. Oh my god, it was so fun. Now this guy's a real dick. This guy will actually, I think, fire at you. He don't even give a fuck. So you kind of got to be careful around this dick. And you have to kill him. You've only got a certain number of shots you can kill him with. I think he takes five. Okay, four. And then he gets the fuck out of dodge. So then you use the red key and you get the battery and you're like, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so now you actually need to get shit parts as noted earlier in the storyline, which I sort of skipped over. And um, we've got the battery. We're going to need the joystick and the vacuum and apparently the alcohol. Which, again, back in the day, nobody really gave a fuck about mentioning alcohol or cigarettes back in games. Of course, now they do, because that's so bad. Oh, my God. It's okay to blow somebody's head off, but cigarettes and alcohol. Oh, Jesus. Notice that sign said Pogo, even though it was all, like, in English. Or even though it was all, like, in an alien language.